When it comes to winter recreation, it's one of the most popular activities in New York State. Each year, thousands of snowmobilers ride on more than 10,000 miles of state-designated trails. But along with the fun come some very serious dangers, which is why DEC and state parks are reminding snowmobilers to ride responsibly and put safety first. For first-time riders, a safety course might not be a bad idea. You learn various uh, safety techniques. Uh, snowmobiles can be very dangerous. Um, these uh, safety tips that you'll receive at this course uh, will ensure that you have a safe riding experience. In addition to checking trail conditions before heading out, you'll also want to be sure to dress appropriately, as weather conditions can change quickly. Uh, we'll first start off with uh, your layering systems. So anything that has wool or fleece, um, stuff that will keep you warm even if you do get wet. We want to try to avoid that uh, cotton stuff uh, because we always hear cotton kills. Um, talk about the boots, good warm pair of boots, good pair of snowmobile uh, overalls or coveralls, snowmobile pants, uh, snowmobile jacket, um, underneath there like I said the wool or the fleece and then you know always make sure you have your warm pair of mittens or gloves, uh, good helmet, DOT approved and warm hat and uh, other stuff in your pack. It's also important to check the snowmobile itself before you fire it up. Right, there's a lot of things that can go wrong. There's a lot of moving parts on the snowmobile. So you just want to do a quick once over. You may find a broken suspension piece from the last time you rode it, or ice that's, that's caught in the suspension. You know, a drive belt is what keeps you moving forward. So if that's bad, or if you run out of fuel or oil, I mean, that, that's, you don't want to do that when you're three, four miles back out in the woods in you know, sub-zero temperatures. Our experts suggest taking a cell phone along with you as well as a toolkit, emergency first aid kit, matches to start a fire, a small shovel, tow rope, and a map or GPS of the area. Once you're all set to head out, use designated trails, travel at a safe speed, and remember that you're not the only one using the trail. An even bigger reminder depending on the time of day. Some of the other things that you want to pay attention to when you're riding at night is animals. Um, it can be very dangerous. You can't see them coming. Um, also snowshoers, other people on the trail, you really have to be um, extra aware, you have to have that extra awareness at night. Traveling on ice can also be dangerous, so you'll want to check conditions so that you can avoid situations that present even a remote risk. Ice thickness can vary on every body of water or even within the same body of water. Four inches is usually safe for accessing ice on foot. Double that thickness for traveling on snowmobile. If you have a a drill or an auger, you can always drill a hole in the ice to check that ice thickness. Some things you actually want to stay away from are, you know, discoloration in the ice, um, you know, like murky looking ice, uh, slushy ice, that will, you know, prove to be a little bit unsafe. Also, ice picks, you can carry ice picks with you, um, you can wrap them around your neck, hold them in your pack, wherever you may be. If you do cross the ice, you know, have them readily available and that'll help you be able to self-rescue. Law enforcement from DEC and state parks say having the right documents while you ride is also essential. Your pre-ride inspection, you should also make sure you have your registration and insurance cards on you. You're required by law to carry those with you. You're also required by law to attach the uh, registration sticker and the validation sticker to the snowmobile. And uh, being in law enforcement, that's the number one thing we look at when we're doing our checkpoints. When you drive by us, if we see that sticker, registration sticker, and the validation sticker on it, majority of the times we'll wave you through when we're doing our checkpoints. State Park Police also suggest joining a snowmobile club. Joining a club can have uh, numerous benefits. Um, the clubs are responsible for grooming the trails, uh, posting stop signs, uh, posting hazards, uh, stuff that can be vital to ensure your safety while riding on the trail. Following these common sense safety recommendations will go a long way in ensuring snowmobilers have an enjoyable time while also taking proper precautions to stay safe. Ride with a partner or group at all times and hit the trails this winter to experience the abundant snowmobile opportunities New York has to offer.